Here's how you can fix the issue where your iPhone is charging, but the percentage is not increasing. So, if you've connected your iPhone to a charger, the battery icon has the charging indicator, but the percentage is not increasing at all, then I'll show you four different solutions to this problem. So make sure you watch the video until the end, so you don't make any mistakes. The first thing that you want to do is to open the settings. Then find the battery section. Tap on battery health and charging. Once you get here, make sure that this optimized battery charging option is enabled. If this was enabled for you, then you want to turn it off and then enable it once again. When you do this step, please restart your iPhone. You can restart it by clicking the volume up, then volume down buttons, and then long hold on the power button until this slide to power off screen appears. You want to turn the phone off and then turn it back on. A second solution to this issue is to check your charging cable or power adapter. You have to make sure that they are working properly. I suggest that you try out another cable and adapter and try and see if this charges your iPhone without any issues. If it does, then there is a problem with either your cable or your power adapter, and you will have to get them repaired or buy a new charger or power adapter. Another solution, which I have for you, is to clean the charging port on your phone. Sometimes you can get a lot of dust, dirt, and other stuff in your port that can prevent the charger to charge your phone as it should. The battery will indicate that the charger is connected, but it won't charge because your port is too dirty. You can use a bristled brush or toothbrush to clean the charging port gently. But if none of these steps worked for you, then you want to open the settings one more time, then go over to the general section. After you open this, scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on the transfer or reset iPhone. Erase all content and settings. Keep in mind that this will erase all the content and the settings on your iPhone, so you might want to transfer your data to a computer or external hard drive, because this will delete everything on your iPhone. But if even this step doesn't work, you will have to take your iPhone to an Apple Store or an authorized service provider for further assistance. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon!